All right, guys, here's a look at the Ares Build-A-Figure, man, and I think it's really awesome. Uh, I think they've did a really great job with it. Um, he's probably about seven and a half inches tall. Um, you know, and I really like the, the design of the character, and I really like how they executed the figure with the really nice paint. And uh, we'll get into some more detail about it, but uh, I think overall, it's a really great figure. And, like, I think it's actually... It might be worth it to pick up the wave just for this because I think this is really it's a really awesome version of Ares And again, this is a really great figure in general, but uh, we'll take him off the old uh, base here And then uh, we'll get a better look at him here um, I just had him in a pretty awesome uh, two-handed pose there, but uh, Yeah, so here's a better look well, I'm gonna move in here There's a better look at his face And uh, as you can see there's a face in there so I'm curious to see if anybody's actually playing Ares. So, but I do like this uh, this uh, mask of his though. This beast mask. I don't even know what it is. It's awesome. It's really great, and I really love the the armor. The armor is really sweet, and like uh, I love the silverish blue paint detail. It looks really awesome, and just some great sculpting. And all of the armor pieces. Some nice battle damage. He's got keys for, I don't know what, maybe his hellhounds or something. Just awesome. Kind of weird he doesn't have boots though. But, you know, to each their own. Win in Rome, I say. Really nice. Like, I really like this back piece here. This looks really cool. The paint they did on here is really awesome. Like every piece of armor has some great paint on it. I'm gushing over the paint because I really think it's it's awesome. Like my favorite Ares figure was the DC Universe Classics one. This one blows it out of the water by like a lot. Some look at that. Scratches on his armor. Just awesome. Really great. And again, look at the sword. And you know, again, like I think the articulation is pretty good. Like these, these uh, joints right here are a little tough. You know, and I don't know if that's because they're not. You know, they're a little hard for me to get in there. But I think once you work them a little bit, you know, maybe take a hair dryer to them, it might loosen them up a bit. But that's about as far out as you're going. Oh, there's that. And then great, he has he has a. An ab crunch here. It doesn't go too far though. But he's got a swivel. He's got a swivel down here too. So he's like very highly articulated. Bicep swivel. Wrist swivel. Or sorry, forearm swivel and then wrist swivel. My bad. So his legs are a little tight. Look, you can't kick him out too far, but he's probably like a lumbering character. Like a big beastly rumbling character. Again, no freaking ankle pivot. That's the one complaint I have over every single one of these figures is no ankle pivot. You know, if Mattel would get their act together and fix the ankle pivot and actually put it in there, I think that would be a great thing for them to do. I think, like, you know, part of the reason why a lot of us collectors like like most of the DC Icons figures is because they have freaking ankle pivot. But, you know, that's another story for another day. But, so, I think he's awesome. Um, I think, actually, if I actually think this is gonna sound crazy, I think he's actually you know the the Queen Hippolytus is, is a really good figure, and the Wonder Woman with the uh, the cloak I think is it also a great figure. You know the two figures I'm not the figures I'm not crazy about are the Steve Trevor and then the Wonder Woman with the and the Themyscira gear. Those are those are pretty those are mediocre figures. But I think since you get this build a figure with them, I think it's worth it to get the wave. And you know what? I mean, with those two decent figures, and with this, I think it's, I think it's worth it to get the wave. If you want, if you're really, you know, like a big, I'm a big Wonder Woman fan though, so I think you have to take it into consideration. If you're a huge fan of DC Comics, or the DC Films universe, or even Wonder Woman, I'm a huge fan of Wonder Woman, and there's not a lot of good Ares figures out there, in, you know, in six inch scale. And I think this is one of, the, this is probably the coolest Ares figure I've ever seen, and you know, that's that's not hyperbole. Like, I, you know, I love the DC. Uh, Universe Classics one because like 
it's the classic version of Ares, but like I love this movie version of Ares. It looks really sweet, and it's great to finally have another new Ares figure, man. You just don't see a lot of Ares figures, so um, you know I need some villains to put with my Wonder Woman figures. I'm a big Wonder Woman fan, so um, yeah, I would I give this figure four out of five, four out of five stars, man. This figure is definitely worth it. If you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up and uh, maybe give me a subscribe down below if you want to see more reviews. And uh, I want to thank you guys very much for watching and uh, have a great day.